Okay, titled Topping Irons, any tips? Let's jump in, take a look. So the first tip is even though it feels like you're topping this ball, you are actually hitting it right on the heel, right on the hosel and a shank. A uh, couple of ways to differentiate between the two is when you get the heels instead of the tops, that club face is going to twist in your hands. And you can see that club face come in fairly square, hit the ball, and then really jerk hard closed on the way through. So if you feel like the club's getting lost in your hands or twisting right at impact, you're not the one moving the hands that quickly. It is the ball spinning that club face right as you make impact. So it looks and feels like a top shot, uh, but your other way to tell is that if it starts really spinning off to the right, it probably caught the heel and that's going to be the same gear effect that makes a driver really slice when you hit it on the heel. Uh, so how are you going to fix this new problem, which is more of a heel than a top? Now, going back to your setup, uh, when we have the beginning of the video, you look fairly square to your target, you plop the club down once, and I think right there, that's where you need to be at your setup. But then, you probably were accustomed to missing by feeling too close, you backed up, you go reach the hands out after it, and that starts this problem of falling into the ball. So, we're going to take a look at a couple key points that end up moving closer to the ball that cause this issue. Uh, so two lines on the hands and on the rear end. Uh, we're going to bypass every other part of your swing, but just take a look at how you get up to the top. You kind of keep your butt back a little bit, but then as you come down, you're going to turn a lot, and then you're going to move the hips in just a couple inches. Uh, more noticeable and more effective is that the hand path has also reached in quite a few inches. So if everything is generally moving this way, that club face, which started with the ball in the middle, is also going to move that way and catch it right on the heel. Uh, so there's a lot of ways to go from here. I'm not going to give you every fix, but I think just the general awareness that you're hitting here, uh, here on the heel instead of a top, uh, you can start to fix, fix this move. So you got some athletic movement coming down. Path isn't horrible. Face isn't horrible. Uh, just start working yourself toward the toe of the club. Work your hand path more inside, and you'll get this thing straightened out.